there have been big changes when I look back. Even the winds have changed. Rather than coming from maybe from the southwest or whatever, they're, they're coming from other directions that they never came before. And they're, they're strong winds. The, the waters, the tides are rising, they're higher because of many of the melting ice in the Arctic. So many, many different things. Uh, so many changes. The water's changing. The, the waters, this year, this is the kidneys of Mother Earth. This is what does the cleansing. The moon helps the rivers and streams with the tides to do the cleansing that it needs to raise its young. But it's happening in a different way because of the environmental changes that are taking place. The mosquito population, yes, they used to come out in early, uh, late April, early May, and the tree swallows would come and they'd have, they always came about the same time, the tree swallows, the 28th of April or whatever, to feed on the, on the mosquitoes. Now, they can't come anymore like that. They did, but they've all died off because the mosquito is hatching in the fall. It's hatching all different times of the year because of climate change. So what, this is what's happening to the tree swallow. He didn't die maybe of a disease. No, 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 he died because he starved. He came here and for two or three weeks, the mosquitoes maybe didn't come out till the first of June. He had very little to eat. The cliff swallow, the barn swallow, all disappeared. Even the, the raccoon, we just saw his track walking around. Normally, uh, oh, late December until oh, the, the end of January, they're not moving too much. They're conserving their fat. They don't have to eat every day. They'll stay in, until it's time to come out. But they're not doing that. They're going all year round now. Their cycle is on.